This looks awesome. <laughs> Let's just found the city right in the middle. What else are we gonna do? In order to get this start, I had to use World Builder. I just created a random new map, panned around, found a big ocean area, and just thought, man, this looks perfect. So we created plains hills around here, and then mountains around here, and in the third ring we know are ocean tiles. And then I waited a week, and I completely forgot everything about the map. So, <laughs> perfect, which is what I want to do. So let's think about our start. The only way we can really win this game is we have to, you know, get out of our empire. We can, we should be able to build a harbor along the edge of the mountain tiles, which is kind of weird, right? But even if we build some galleys, they can't go through the ocean tiles, so we have to wait a ways. Let's go for writing right away. We can get some decent campuses around here. And we are playing with secret societies, barbarian clans mode, and heroes and legends. I want to see, maybe we can get Sinbad. I don't know if we can actually get Sinbad to work with this map. We don't obviously need to build any scouts, warriors, or slingers. We explored the whole world. Right now, a builder would be good, but we're not going to get mining anytime soon. So let's just go for a monument. And this can just sit there. And now, it's about, I don't know, 200 turns of doing nothing. Oh, a turn three major drought. Spectacular. <laughs> no, we're not growing at all. Oh man, just something you think this game can't get any worse. This does look really great though. We do have a mod called Hillier, Hillier Hills. Oh, man, it's hard to say that word. And it actually makes the hills, I think, look... Really? Another one? Oh man. Oh man. Well, let's go for, I guess, God King. There, we can get our campus going. Uh, hmm. Let's go to the left. I kind of want to go to the left. Fertility rights to get a free builder and make our city capital growth a little bit higher. And now we don't have to build one after we build this campus. We can actually go for the library. And let's start getting some mines around here. Plus three error score for that. Let's see how things are going. 2.3 great scientist points per turn. I don't think we're going to be able to beat that. We're getting one now. I mean, we could try it. I mean, wouldn't getting a great scientist would still be probably pretty good for us. As long as it's kind of a useful one. But here's the classical era. Into a dark age. It's not going to matter what we choose. Um, we're still going to go to another dark age, probably. Obviously, my name is only getting this one error score. Exodus, zero error score. We could go for religion. I didn't see anybody going for... Okay, there's one person going for a great profit. Two people. Three people. Okay. Probably not going to get a great profit. Let's go for Heroic Tales. Maybe we can figure out where Sinbad is. Because we're going to get Celestial Navigation shortly. Our first hero. Okay. Two turns. We're going to finish our Heroic Tales. Come on, Sinbad. Sinbad, 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 Sinbad. Ah, Hercules. The only time you don't want Hercules. And for a harbor. Let's go ahead and buy a tile. Let's just go to the right, I guess. There's no big deal. And we'll go there. How do they get to this harbor? I guess you can kind of go right through here. It's like a little little tunnel. Huh. We actually got our city up to almost five population now. Turn 68. <laughs> yeah. I can hear harbors being built in the distance. But there's political philosophy. We can finally get a government. We might not fall into a Dark Age next era. I'll just go for Glasgow Republic. And I guess God King? Because <laughs> we're not going to build any builders. We're not going to buy anything. We don't have any trade routes. We're not going to build any settlers. And we're not building any wonders. So God King? Wow, I never thought. I only use this like the first like 10 turns of the game. And that's it. <laughs> now we're using it again. Maritime Industries again. And diplomatically, in case we actually meet a city state. And we're lucky enough to be the first one there, which is probably not going to, you know, not that likely. It's a decent amount. We're going to another era already. Another major drought. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's see. Maybe we'll be able to find another AI. We literally need one error score. So I guess... Yes! There's our one error score. Uh, yeah, you can tell us. Yeah. you can. You can I can show you right where our capital is. Good luck. Good luck finding it. Ooh. We made a city-state. Yes. Yes. Plus two gold, one gold for each adjacent luxury resource. Desert. Okay, we can we can actually build it because we have grass on hills, but we have no... Yeah. It would be nice, though. 80 gold to levy the military? You must have nothing. 
Ha ha ha! Turn 85, and we doubled our naval presence. So close. Another, another like, coast tile is so close to us, but we can't go there. We are just trapped. But we entered the next era as just a normal age, which is good for us. Another, another major drought. This island is literally the worst. This is like the fifth major drought now that we've had. We're just going to stake out right here. Maybe we'll be able to find the mine empire. Because definitely them. That's 100% them, right? Sometimes. And we're going for recorded history. I really want to go for them just for the Praetorium. Get the government's plus two loyalty per turn. And, well, obviously natural philosophy. Because that will double our science. <laughs> It'll give us three more science. There's the Mayan Empire. Alright. Okay, they got a great admiral. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, can we build them? We can, we can. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, Quick, quickly press next turn. This is, this, this is happening. The game now just turned around. Sure. I'm so happy I'll give you whatever. There's Sinbad. Look at that! We can go in the ocean tiles. We can actually explore the world now. What do we want to do now? 52 melee strength. We can take 40 melee strength for this. City. Wow. 25 technologies compared to R8. 20 for Solomon. Oh, 57, 93. Yeah, we have 10. We do have a running clans mode, which might actually save us. Because I was just thinking, our plan was to initially build some quadrants and upgrade them, but we're gonna need niter, and we obviously we don't have any niter on our island, so that's gonna be kind of an issue. Additionally, Simbad's done in 29 turns, and we're gonna want to buy him again. We're getting one faith per turn. We can hope that we got another 400 gold. Excellent. We can hope that one of our city states actually has niter and and go that way we could get horses and we don't really need horses you have no more charges so let's not even worry about that one we could buy caravel yes it can't go to the ocean tiles kidding me you kidding me because we don't have it unlocked yet oh man 29 turns until this thing gets unlocked you know honestly let's just go for uh, campus research grants Try to get this thing done sooner. Two strategic resources per turn that you have revealed but not improved. This is absolutely perfect. Oh, yes. Okay, we need two envoys. But we still we can go for military tradition, feudalism, and then mercenaries. Because we need those three, or those two anyway. So let's go for military tradition first. The air is going to end here in two turns. So then we can start becoming suzerain of a lot of city-states. Another major drought? Come on, game. There's literally all these other tiles on the map. And we've had... I think this is our fifth major drought now. Turn 126. You know, honestly, what we need to do is we need to get another city out of here. Because once we get another city... Like, a cod would be really good. Like, look at this land around here. And it's, like, right on the edge. Then we can really start expanding. I mean, honestly, Zanzibar, where's our capital? So maybe there's something down here. Then we can start trade. We have six trade routes. And that would be really good to actually start getting some. So 17 turns until we can actually go into the ocean. We're getting campus research grants, so hopefully that'll go a little sooner. But mine, let's go for monumentality. If we take over a city, we'll be able to spend a little faith. We don't really have much faith to at least buy a builder or trade route or something. <laughs> how many things you can actually how many things you can actually build in your capital anymore turn 138 already another withering drought literally this is this place is cursed turn 142 we can finally explore the world come on please the city state yeah there's nothing down here we do have a cod in this game melee and anti cavalry units do full damage to city walls. I wonder if that counts our units. So we need one more envoy. But there's theology. All right, let's go ahead and change things up. Go back to Diplomatic League. We gotta hope this works. 
Two. Okay, another hero. Three. Suzerain. Yeah, it's not looking like it's going to do anything. Oh, I think we're just done for. We can try this out. Let's go ahead and declare war. It's not going to give us any, uh, it doesn't work. We can fill it just though. Man, that's unfortunate. Replaces a frigate. 669 gold. Now we can buy some frigates. Yes. Yes. The tide is finally turning in our favor. I had a little lunch and thought about things a little bit. And I think we're going to go after Kabul first. Even though becoming suzerain of Kabul would be amazing. Because you need to receive you see, double experience. But battles to initiate that will really help things out. Especially upgrading like caravels or frigates to the plus one range. But I think it's good to have Kabul. They have turtles, silk, and tobacco. Three luxury resources just right there. Blast. For the grid to 845. There's Niter. Excellent. Should probably look around the map to figure out where Niter is, actually. Look at that. That is super, super close to our capital. It's just like teasing us. <laughs> we could find a city right there. Let's do it. Oh, I thought this was a defeat animation for some reason, and I was confused. But more importantly, now that we know frigates, we should probably go to the next thing. We need to figure out where coal is, because battleships are going to be extremely important. Let's go ahead and put a victor over there. And I think we only have that one government promotion, yeah. And let's go ahead and move our trade routes over there. Give this one some more XP. There's Zanzibar. Another city state or city for us all right so i guess our plan now is we gotta we gotta beef up our science that is what we gotta do we can take over venice i think that's what we're gonna focus on with all of our units and we're just gonna spread a city we're gonna put a city right there and another city over here we're gonna buy from Zan buying zanzibar oh we can buy right now let's buy right there Let's definitely go for Merchant Republic. And we definitely need this one and Professional Army. We can also go for Merchant Confederation for 26 gold per turn. Absolutely ridiculous. But we also need Diplomatic League. I almost forgot about that one. I mean, this will be 3 and 3 next turn. And then it'll be 4 and 4, so then will be 7. Like, this is going to grow up much faster than this Natural Philosophy right now. I guess we could do that. There we go. There we go. Now... Is it this city-state? <laughs> Three. Three envoys by sending one trader out there. And now we're at 80 out of 82. Okay, we can definitely go to normal age. Look at this. Sneaky Mapuche trying to get in there. They're going after our nighter. It's not going to happen though. Once we found this city here, they can only find a city down to the south. Which would be fine. We can take that. Oh. Hurricane. This one's going over to Hattusa, because we've got to put our unique improvement there to get more gold for our trade routes. Our World Congress, we're putting our boats into something special though. Campus. 100% production towards buildings in this district, a campus. AIs probably has their campuses fully decked out by now. We just got started. This is basically a turn 50 <laughs> for us, and uh, so we need to build campuses. But look like it. The other AIs actually did choose campuses. For the other one, production, units go in, you can build them even faster. Perfect. Absolutely perfect for us. The other ones, the Diplomatic Victory points. AI yeah, loves to waste other points in this, other Diplomatic Victory, or other Diplo points into this. And then World's Fair obviously passed. We're not going to win World's Fair. Like, there's no chance. But we can win Venice. Please, Cole. Do we have it? I, think the human race I see, uh, yes, I see a source. Wait, right there? <laughs> perfect. Oh, we're already improving it too. Now we need to go straight for battleships. That's a lot of turns. Like, see how much science we need to actually get battleships? It's like you gotta go, you gotta basically get everything. Every one of these technologies. Oh, everybody's mad at city states emergencies, but nobody has put them against us. This nobody. And we've taken over like four city states now. Submarine? Submarine? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, we are definitely way, way behind. Turn 214. 49 technologies, 47. We're at 29. After this navigation school, we're going to go for campus research grants in a lot of our cities to generate more and more science. We're probably just going to buy the library. But in the meantime, let's buy something fun. Let's go ahead and buy this submarine. 1,147 gold. Look at that thing. Okay, this is going over by the Mayan Empire. Like, we are, like, submarines, we are so far to getting submarines. Where are they even at? Wait, that's a nuclear submarine. Oh, electricity. Okay, that's not too bad. We could literally get there in 26 turns. But we're going for battleships, because that's what we actually need. This is what we do. We literally sell all of our diplomatic favor for gold to buy buildings in all of our cities so they're not as bad anymore. Because building the buildings takes forever. Buying the buildings takes one turn. And buying all these builders to improve all these other tiles makes our city grow faster so we can build our districts faster. And then just buy all the buildings. And let's get campus research grants. Yeah, I, I don't see a different continent on this map. Man, maybe that's like a map builder bug or something. Because can, I can figure we can found a city on a different continent and get some error score that way. We can found a city next to a volcano and that will give us, or actually close to this wonder. We can found it on the bananas. Let's go ahead and buy a settler here. We're going to have two tiles of a natural wonder here for a three error score. We have three error score there. Susan in another city state, that's five. So we'll be at 99. We'll need three more. Maybe it's just one. If we actually buy it with faith or gold, you get three. If we, you know, buy it like more than 50% or whatever. But everything's so expensive. I guess except for the merchant. And getting two on, this is actually perfect. We should get this merchant. Oh, this is perfect. Buy this merchant for 5,000 gold. Uh, getting that much gold might be tough. <laughs> getting that much gold might be a real tough. Well, we might as well, might as well try. I think we can actually sell some of our coal and get a ton of gold for that. 36 gold per turn. Yeah, 750 gold. Holy smokes. We can change up our policies too. This is 20 gold per turn. This is 11. Two great merchant points per turn. 30 gold. Caliber unit anyways. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. That's so much... That's what desperate we are. We're literally just waiting for 30 gold. <laughs> Every piece of gold counts. All right. Oh, wait. Wait, how did we get 5,100? We're going to be able to do it. Are you kidding me? I did not think this. I mean, I've been selling 20 to my favor every turn. Okay, we have our settler in place next to a natural wonder just in case we actually need that. Three turns. So, Buenos Aires and Preslov. Okay, let's see how much air this... This should bring us a lot. This is a lot of gold. This is... This is a lot of gold that we're spending on this. For 500 gold. So, basically, get 500 gold off. Three air score. 98. So, plus two for one suzerain is 100. Plus another two for another suzerain is 102. And it's right here in Venice. Oh, perfect. Okay, we barely skill. <laughs> we were close. And thankfully, that means we don't need to found the city, and we can found it wherever we find oil. Which is a really important thing. But let's go ahead and use this person. 500 gold, two envoys. Okay, let's go Suzer in here. Two air score. And this one. Two air score. Perfect. 102 out of 102. It can't get much better than that. We only have these two battleships here. But we can see the city. Let's do formal war. Let's go ahead and start. See how bad the... Oh, goodness. Not this again. Oh, my goodness. This is going to take a while. We need something better than battleships already. I don't know if we're actually going to get this this turn. No. Oh, wait. 
Yes. Oh, we got it. 21 point something. Well, that is ridiculous. Okay, we put in our two loyalty cards. This might not survive. 4.9, that's actually okay. Oh no. This could be a disaster. Oh no. Oh, thank you. Oh, Mapuche saved us. Look at if the Mayan Emperor would have went to war with us, that would have been just horrible. 1172, yeah. Like they have nuclear submarines and stuff somewhere. All right, there's another one of their cities. We got it. Rebellion in three turns, though. That's, that's a lot. Let's keep this city. Now we have a couple cities over here. You only have three population. You know, we should just go for steel. To get walls in our cities. Change this up. And barrel aerodome over here. Because we're going to be buying a bunch of bombers in a little bit. We're getting a decent amount of aluminum. Four per turn. And we have another source just right here, which we bought a builder for. But I am definitely worried. About keeping Scythia cities. <laughs> they... Rebellion 21 turns, but wait a second here. There's no way it's 21 turns. 7 turns. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> it's more like it. If you look here, minus 4. So nearby rival diplomatic governors. That is Amani's promotion right here. Other cities, when it's 9 tiles not owned by you, lose 2 loyalty per turn. Everybody's in this city state. So now here it's 6 turns. This one, 7 turns. <laughs> this is not good for business. Let's go ahead and start taking out the city. Go this one there, you there, and you're, we're just going right after the city right as much fast as we can. And let's get rid of this thing. Oh, so close. What? Oh, she's done. Ooh, that's not good for business. Oh, we got a submarine too. Maybe we'll be able to take it out. Ooh, it's so close. We have our ironclad down here. We should probably actually buy just a regular unit, the cheapest unit. We can get Pike and Shot. Okay, I think we can take it over next turn. We just have to get rid of these units to make sure we can actually get there with our ironclad going through the, the Panama Canal. But let's do, let's have some fun. Let's go over here. This is the only place. Actually, we have two places with aerodomes. Let's go ahead and buy. One bomber and uh, two bombers. And these are going west. After we take over this city, we'll probably go for their capital. And then maybe this one, and then we can go right for the Ottomans. We definitely want to go for a golden age, though. And let's make sure we go for stealth technology. And we'll get tanks along the way. If we get a golden age, loyalty is not going to be an issue. We're voting all this. We don't want anybody to go to war with us, especially the Mayan Empire have been voting to go to war with us for a while. Wow. 14 14. What? Well, 8 for them. Oh, that would have been bad. That would have been bad because they have 1,733 military combat strength. All right, can we go through here now? Let's see. We can. One turn until it rebels. 3.1 loyalty left. What does this one have? 10.7. We need to take over this city. Promotion, promotion, promotion. Wow. Okay, let's go here. Let's just make sure we get rid of them all. I think this should be able to take over the city. Please. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, we have to have that, right? Because 5 cancels out this one, this 5 cancels out that one, this 8 cancels out that, and we have 4 more. So we have more loyalty. So literally, 3.1, got it down to, and I think we were able, we were able to turn it around. We got lucky. There we go. Information error as a golden age. Hopefully this solves. Yes, it's going up. All right, let's rebase our other bomber there. We can make sure everything is okay. Yeah, 14.1. It is rising a lot. 
And we can do our first bomber attack. How are you doing? Yeah. That's pretty good. And we got a great person. Great scientist. 3,000 production towards a space race project. We definitely don't want the AI to get this. So let's go ahead and recruit that. And Sithy, Sithy went to a dark age. And everybody else says the normal age. Thank yes. This is so good. And we should... Wait, what? Giant death robot. I totally forgot about this. What? Okay, well, obviously... <laughs> we're getting the free giant death robot. Oh, is it in our capital? Kid me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah. Ah. We can't even like airlift our unit because we can't build the aerodrome in our capital either. They have machine guns, what do they have? 419 military strength? They have all these cultists around here. Just doing absolutely nothing. And that's down to zero. Let's take it over with our tank. There goes our capital. Um. I guess. Uh, we're declaring war a little bit early. What do we have over here? Just this fighter? And they're upset with us? Okay, maybe the Mayan Empire will go to war with us. Alright, perfect. 99 gold. For this. Hopefully they'll throw a lot of the military into their cities and uh, lose them. They have giant death robots. And they already have a promotion. Look at that, the AI actually has giant death robots. This is crazy. Look like 15 turns with battleships or like two turns with bombers. That's, that's all we need. All right, one Ottoman city's done. Let's go ahead and get a new governor. What is this? Oh, the giant death robots. Yeah, one, two. They have two giant death robots. Oh, crap. Let's just vote as much as we can. Hopefully, my empire don't go to war with us. Oh, good. That was close. They want to. I want to go reward them, too, but I want to get our giant death robot. You know, so it's not trapped. Because <laughs> otherwise, you know, otherwise this war to the Ottomans would be, it'd pretty much be over by now. I'm almost sick of we should go to war with the Mayan Empire. The giant death robots are kind of just sitting here. Minus 15 for insufficient uranium. Ooh. Whoa. I did not want to do that. We can still salvage it if we go there and there. But let's go to war with the Mayan Empire. Let's do four more. Let's see. Eight. Let's see if we can get rid of one of these this turn. Oh. That's not too bad, actually, against these things. That's pretty bad. Okay, they're at 1790. Is this giant death robot going to take out one of our battleships? Oh, they're just not attacking anything. Perfect. <laughs> there goes... Yeah, there goes one of our units. We should actually check the giant death robots. Like, I don't want to promote this thing. I just want to actually just... This 8 damage adds up quickly. I think we can take this. Yes. Oh! It and we got machine guns and ideology. Alright. Let's get rid of this thing. These battleships are coming in useful. Because they can attack these things and not take any damage. Now, we use our jet bombers. Come on, please. This one's already hurting pretty bad. Maybe this one would be better. Okay. All three of their giant death robots are gone. I think we did pretty good now. 1286 for their 1194. Another giant death robot. Man, just when we thought we got rid of them all. There's always just one more. But well, we can take over this city now, and then we focus all of our efforts on the Mayan Empire. 
Wait, another giant death robot. Man. They just never end with these things. Let's see what they do with their giant death robot. I gotta watch this one. Okay, good. Alright. So we're gonna take out this one. Hopefully we can move away with our destroyer and our definitely our aircraft carrier so we don't want this thing to actually hit. And the elite. Can be our giant death robot that the giant death robot actually hit the aircraft carrier, take out three units. But we just unlock fascism. Five combat strength. Yes. Oh, they moved way over here. Thank you, giant death robot, for moving right by a new, brand new missile cruisers and our jet fighter. Okay, let's back these things up a little bit. 16 damage. Oh, we can actually easily take these things out now. There we go. I'm not worried about giant death robots anymore. Go here. We got it. We don't got it. What What's going on, game? You sold me one turn. Well, let's go ahead and take over the city. Our first Mayan city. Ooh, can we get this city? I think so. There's a go for it. There we go. 15 population, the largest city for people. <laughs> and it's their capital. Let's keep it. How many turns until the next era? Nine turns. Oh. We need two more error score. Let's just buy you. There. Perfect. One turn until the information era ends. And look at our capital. Giant death robot still chilling in there. It can actually attack this thing. Awesome. But nobody's taking this over. But if you look here, jet bomber, boom. Take that out. Tank army. Let's do this. Puche's capital is done. Now we have a lot of other jet bombers. Let's just use this one. Get this thing. Uh oh, there must be a submarine or something. Oh, it's a mi I attack with a missile cruiser fleet. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> they, they look, these symbols look like exactly the same. Like, look at these things. Yeah, whatever. They look almost exactly the same to me. But there's a future era <laughs> that we definitely didn't need. Let's see what dedication we get. It's the last era of the game. I have not been here for a while and got giant I death robots. Uh, we get another giant death robot. <laughs> That's just, oh, two of them just literally stuck in our capital. Now nobody's taking this one over. There's no way anybody's taking that capital over. Let's use our missile cruiser fleet to kind of take out the damage. And take over the game. There we go. All right, victory. Though its face may change. That was a lot of fun. Cities founded literally one until like turn 170 or something like that. And then boom. And then we came back. As for science, we were way, way behind the whole game. Kind of shot up right at the end, but it didn't really matter. But all right, I hope you enjoyed this challenge. And uh, thanks for watching.